<laughs> Howdy, boys and girls. Mr. Willard here. How y'all doing today? Good oh. Uh, boys and girls, I got a project. I want to make a door stop for the house, you know, kind of prop the door up and everything. I got a piece of wood here, but it's not a very pretty piece of wood. It's old, kind of old, yucky piece of wood. Can you kind of tell that's not, not a real pretty piece of wood right there? But uh, we can sand it and make it look pretty, but the sanding is going to be uncomfortable for this piece of wood. You know, if the wood could talk and say, ow, 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 I don't like that. That's not fun. Ow, ow, ow. Don't, don't, don't do that no more. <laughs> but we have to, we have to sand it, you know, to make it pretty, you know, because it's, uh, it don't look so nice like this. Not very attractive. And you know, boys and girls get that way sometimes. Sometimes we get not very attractive. We are not very attractive, you know, if we get unkind or if we're a little selfish or maybe a little stubborn or, or pride gets in the way, you know, and we say, uh, then we're not very, uh, we're not very attractive. So, uh, then, uh, then moms and dads have to say, you, you need to share or you're going to get in trouble, you know? So parents discipline us to help us to learn to share or to be a better person. Then we come become more attractive, uh, when we share or when we're kind to others. That's not naturally what we want to do, but the discipline helps us. Our parents discipline us to make us better because they love us. You know, Jesus even disciplines us because he loves us. He'll talk to us through our conscience and we'll feel bad. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, you know, <laughs> and that helps us to be better. Our parents uh, discipline us. They say, all right, you're going to be in timeout or something because they love us and to help us to be a better person. Jesus does it because he would like to see us in the kingdom too, prepare us, get us ready. And sometimes it's so, it's so selfishness and pride and kind of gets in the way like this uh, stuff on this, this board. But let's see if we can get some of this off and, and uh, discipline this board a little bit here. So we're gonna make some noise. Now this board, he ain't gonna like it. If you could, this piece of wood could talk and say, ow, 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 don't want to do that. Here we go. Oh boy, look at that. Yeah. Oh boy, yeah. Now, boys and girls, look at that. Isn't that a little, isn't that a prettier piece of wood right there? Can you see that? Yeah, from from that to that but it wasn't fun for this piece of wood oh no <laughs> uh, that discipline right there oh yeah we knocked some of that unattractiveness off that wood yeah now we can go even farther we can uh, we can make this and Jesus works with us all of our life do and and uh, helps us to learn to grow become more attractive more useful in society we're going to put a little bit of stain on this wood we're going to see if we can make that grain stand out a little better. Oh, look at that. A little bit of stain on there. There we go. Wipe off what's too much. Now, can you see it? Isn't that pretty? Doesn't that make it look pretty? Yeah. Yeah. But that piece of wood goes, ooh, that's cold. <laughs> oh, yeah. But we're not done yet. Now, sometimes this work takes a lifetime, you know, but takes a while to for the Lord to do it in our life so we'll put a little bit of, we'll put a little bit of finish on there now look boys isn't that pretty yeah from this to this that's how we grow boys and girls that piece of wood it goes oh I don't like that well, that, when we sanded it, that was uncomfortable for that piece of wood. And discipline is uncomfortable for us, too. But it helps us to be more attractive and a better person. You know, boys and girls, Romans 5.3 says it makes us better. And then Revelation 3 says, Jesus says that he disciplines us because he loves us. Now, your parents, if they didn't love you and they didn't care, they wouldn't discipline you, but they... They get put you in time out or sometimes have some kind of punishment to help you to be a better person. And they do that because they love you. 
So our parents discipline us because they love us. And Jesus disciplines us through our mind, through our conscience. If we do something wrong, then our conscience will bother us. Yeah, and that's Jesus speaking to us through the Holy Spirit. Say, you shouldn't have done that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> yes, because boys and girls, we have a Heavenly Father that loves us very much. And uh, He helps us. He helps us to grow through discipline. It's not fun. But it sure helps us to be a better person. Till next time, y'all be good. <laughs>